You ready to fight? You ready? Wow, a lot of people have planted their flag on Magomed Ankalaev in terms of his future light heavyweight greatness, but the UFC matchmakers do a masterful job in terms of setting up a test that you need to pass in order to get to that requisite next level. This is a challenging stylistic matchup, and even the confident Ankalaev acknowledged that this is going to test me in ways perhaps I haven't been tested in the octagon before. And a big kick there. in the room, that's a huge strike, and then he's gonna tell him about it, too. I told you I was gonna get you, and watch me get you. Oh, the high kick lands. Got the single collar tie. Oh, here comes the kick, that one blocked by Magomed Ankalaev. Marshall Magomed Ankalaev once again proving to be a problem for the rest of this division. He gets the takedown here. He does a great job of moving into you with his strikes. He does not rush. He's very patient. He's almost wise beyond his years in regards to his approach to fighting. When you watch Ankalaya, he takes his time, he gets close, and the moment you overextend, the guy changes levels, and he takes you down as you saw just right there. Oh, more attack. Yup. Oh, that's very deep now. Somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Looking for the submission once again. He's fighting. He wants it very bad. Oh, very tight. Oh, he can't He's got the back. Going for the rear naked choke. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. Oh, he got out again. He did it again. This guy's a magician. He just keeps on escaping. Oh, he's got a scramble here. Oh, nice. Good movement by him here. Transitioning very well on the ground. Too. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This feet. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Double leg shot. Oh, he's Shaking DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. He won that last time. He's all over with the submissions. What's a fool that? We trained this in the gym. If your defense showed, you know what you're doing. All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking, but tonight you have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high-level grappling, and they are getting that tonight in this fight. That submission was in deep, but wow, what a great job of escaping and living to fight another day. All right, round two. Get that one home. And needs another huge knee. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job. Submission victory. 
Wow, nice takedown yet again from Akalai. Akalai looked like a welterweight on that team. I love the way Akalai was set. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Alka Lyons pretty swollen. Changes levels now. To oh! Fantastic take now. Setting up another submission. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Flipped his arm out, and now he lives to fight another day. Ankalaev's going for the sub here. Oh, compromises. Attack an arm bar. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sub. Under a minute to go. Ankalaev gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally, he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, but I guess it's a credit to him to still even the fight. He's got to do something different if he has any design of winning this fight. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to build a Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here. So we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now, his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. So look for a submission attempt. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Can't take any of those. You better check. Somehow his opponent stayed up with I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single. Rotate head on the Inside the closed guard now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, submission defense holds up again. It's on point. He's constantly under attack, and he's constantly bats away his submission attempts back to back. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, oh. it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything there is. Oh! Oh my God! Stop. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.
here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, five seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by knockout, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work.